Welcome back, sports fans. Plenty of hoops coming your way, and we start with a good old-fashioned rivalry right here in Macon. Our own Avery Braxton was on hand for Westside, taking on Central in a region matchup. Avery, take it away. No introduction. Let's get straight to the highlights, give them what they want. Ladies, on the floor first, Westside and Central. A defensive struggle. Dana Walker brought the fly swatter to preserve a two-point lead, 19-17, to but the Seminoles not going away. Michaela Hudson gets a rebound. Drains a two-pointer from, from the wing to beat the buzzer and tie the game going into the fourth at 19 apiece. And the fourth belonged to the Knowles. Not a kaboom with the acrobatic steal. Gets it to Maya Montgomery who gets an easy bucket. And then Montgomery on the break. She's got the ball on a string in the open floor. Goes coast to coast all the way to the rack. That gives the Seminoles the lead. And they'd hold on to win 34 to 26. On the boys' side, a big-time matchup. Both of these teams coming in at 6-1 in the region, and there were some sensational plays to start the game. Kowasi Reeves Jr. taking it to the rack, whips out the acrobatic finish to open the scoring for the Knowles. But the old adage goes, good defense creates great offense. Antonio Card with a pin on the glass, and then it's a touchdown pass to Quay Primus on the other end for the jam, 4-2 Central. Later on, both teams got hit with that three bug. Harold Tompkins from the corner, whop, that's a three ball. But the next null possession is Jerico Campbell, whop, 13 to 12 is Charger lead, and it's 17 to 16 after one. Second quarter, Chargers up four, another three. Chargers up seven, Christian Hill forces the timeout. And JV and Mosley trying to keep it close, drive in the pull up, that man is silky smooth. But his summer ball teammate not to be outdone, rock him to sleep. Got him, that's Antonio Carr for three, 35-26 Chargers, but Mosley coming right back. Next possession, three ball, bang, 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 and Carr's eye, and this game went all the way down to the wire. But it's the Seminoles who come out on top in overtime, 62-60. Mosley leads the way with 22. Quay Primus dropped 20 of his own. Appreciate it, Avery, and one for the record books with the Howard Huskies. Colin Tarver joined the 1,000-point club with a three-pointer in the second quarter tonight versus Mary Persons. He is the first in the program's history to achieve this feat. The Huskies won 82-64 to behind Tarver's 17 on the night. Congratulations to you, sir. More action. FPD Vikings and Wilco Warriors doing battle at the ship first quarter. Jordan Jones with a nice move. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, yeah, Vikings leading by four. Then on the break, Jalen Goodrum to Gavin Green with a kiss off the glass. NPD leads by three. On the other end, Traquan Fox drives, puts up the floater, misses. Brian Barnes gets the rebound, puts it up and in to give the Warriors the one-point lead. Second quarter now, Jacob Crockett, right place, right time. Snags the pass, and he finishes with a two-handed flush. Warriors leading by eight. The Vikings would fight back. Gavin Green to Jalen Goodrum, diving, swish for three. FPD only trailing by five, but later on the Warriors with the defense. Jacob Crockett with the steal. Dishes to Christian Lamar, who finishes again with a two-handed jam. And the Warriors get the win. 78-73 is the final in this one. Off Highway 96 and Warner Robins, Hoko hosting veterans. Veterans boys 16-1. and one. Veterans start things off with a bang, bang, bang. Senior Horace Johnson making it rain. Hoko responds with nice ball movement. Derek Cotton to Kobe Nelson to Jamichael Searcy with the easy bucket. But back comes Hojo on the break, coast to coast. Here he gets the charge under the basket and one. And veterans will be on the move, but not before. Kobe to HB Morgan. Nice reverse a layup, but too much red, white, and blue down the stretch. They pick up the win, 17 on the season. Here's senior James Ellis showing the hustle. Your final, 52-46, Warhawks on top. And the ladies, they set the stage prior. Here's Stacy Jones, the Kennesaw commit with two of her 10 points. Nice step back, Jay. The other end of the floor, Zai Jenkins forces a steal. She dishes to Gabby Tribu for the bucket. Veterans hold Hoko to four points in the fourth. They win 60 to 40. Now that's it for sports scores, highlights, and more online at 13wmaz.com.